here. The boots and the socks? Yeah. Okay. These two. I gotta try to figure out how to kill a big bull. Okay. Hoping they those help. Magazines always help. I think so. It says <laughs> 10 tips to kill a trophy bull. Last minute shopping before heading to Colorado after deer, elk, and bear tomorrow. Pretty pumped. Got some new boots. So it's not ideal to buy them the night before, but I feel pretty confident they're gonna be great. Got the boots, got the batteries for my rangefinder. So we're good. First elk hunt of the year, Colorado bound. It's hours to wait, so I'm gonna get an Uber and go to Colorado Springs. I think it'll be a lot easier to get a car there. But I'm hot as shit right now, so I'm gonna get this Uber. We're in Colorado Springs. My tradition on this hunt, on the way to drive into where I'm gonna hunt, I always get McDonald's, so. Two point hamburgers, large fry, large diet Dr. Pepper, and I'll be ready to kill something now because tradition, you gotta stick with it, always works. Buy a fry, buy a little hamburger, buy a fry, hammer, a fry, a hamburger. <laughs> Made it, so this one part of the journey is out of the way. We at least made it to camp. Now, let's get that bow set up. It's always a dicey one. Open the bow, made it. No backups. Good.
never take this moment for granted, I know that. Takes a lot to get within bow range of a herd bull, stalked him, and uh, I feel very grateful to make a good shot on, he deserves a merciful death, and I was very thankful I was able to, able to do that. Work hard, really hard to make that happen. It's a beautiful animal, man. Big old bull. Well, how far did y'all walk in your socks? I took them off coming down that hill. I told Tanner to film from up there. Oh, so you stayed up high then? Yeah, Tanner stayed up on that little rocky up point right, up there. Where he could see. Yeah, because so many elk. Yep. I didn't think we'd get the bull killed tonight. <laughs> we might kill a buck and bear tomorrow. Unbelievable. Killed my buck in Idaho first stock. Killed my bull here in Colorado on first stock. I don't know, a little bittersweet. I'm happy, but I love hunting, so. Sad it's over. The arrow went clear through, quartering away hard, came out his far shoulder, went all the way through, got everything. Well, he's a tough old bull. So the goal this morning, kill a bear. We're gonna be sneaking along this road here. We've got the acorns on super thick and then bear love eating the acorns. So gonna be cow walking down this road with no boots on, just kind of listening, hearing them crunch and break branches. And I bet we'll get a bear killed.
Yeah. Is we got even something a little this close. It's dead quiet. The wind is kind of pushing down the hill, but I was worried because these thermals are switching. Spooked a little, but then went up and stopped quarter away and <clears throat> made it happen. So, spawn stock, Colorado. Good job. Here's where the arrow blew through. The bear was right here, and here's where the bear went. About four yards. Um, arrow just performed perfectly. Obviously, smoked him with a pass through. That's what we want. So beautiful. Oh, this hide is gorgeous. Oh, it's an old bear. Beautiful. Good sized bear too. It's a relief to make a perfect shot on on anything I'm hunting. It's all I it's my biggest motivation. Top of the heart, that'll do it. Getting ready to go out uh, for the afternoon hunt. Great weather. We are just double checking everything's working like it's supposed to. Four bucks. 
Fox, I'm pretty sure four, but one big shooter. Um, wind coming right here. So we're gonna try to cheat this side of him. I got a landmark right here. So we're gonna sneak over, try to get a good shot at the big, he has a big four by four, he's got a red coat. Let's see what happens. We had a hard time finding this arrow. Johnny looked and looked and looked while we were getting pictures of the buck I just arrowed. And this is why we couldn't find it because it went smoked through that buck at 43 yards and then it's buried in this tree. So I'm gonna pull it out right now. Um, I can't. Let's see. And that did its job. So I went through the buck didn't even hardly lose momentum or velocity, it looks like, and hit about the, almost the same height as where it went through the buck. It's incredible.
landed in Eugene, made it home from Colorado, another great hunt. It's a, basically an elk hunt for me. That's my number one goal, going to Colorado every year, but I also want to kill a predator because so many bear and so many lions. Um, I can't lion hunt, so I try to kill a bear every year to help those deer fawns and elk calves. Those, uh, the bear are tough on them. Waiting on my bow. That's my baby for these hunts, obviously. It's so dialed in, it's feeling, I'm feeling very uh, deadly with it. I got a bear, I got a big bull, and then the cherry on top was I killed a big old wide buck. That's uh, a cool deer, and I mean, the hunt couldn't have went better other than struggled on deer a little bit, to be honest, but got it done. Uh, great bonus to that trip. Better than that. Oh, okay. 